All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back, everybody. Tops Triple Thread, six box break number five. All right, we got 12 boxes left in the case. Uh, so we're going to pick six of those. Tomorrow night is going to be uh, break number six, which will be the last uh, six boxes. All right. All right, so we had the top row with the T's on them. And we have the middle row. All right, with the M's. All right, so we're going to roll a dice. Uh, odd will do the middle, which is on the left side. And even will do the top, which is on the right side. And we got a five, so odd, left side, middle. All right, so that's our lucky six. Uh, the top is going to be tomorrow night. That's my last of triple threads. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of uh, big hits, man. Earlier tonight, hitting the uh, DECA booklet that had 10 players on it. Uh, big booklet, auto relics. Uh, Aaron Judge and Mike Trout, the two big names on that. Plus a lot of other good names. Uh, Altuve, J.D. Martinez... Blake Snell, and five other guys. All right, guys, here are your teams. Break number five. We haven't hit a... Uh, first six boxes are all right. Nothing, like, super crazy. So I think we got a good shot at some big hits. We didn't hit any uh, one-on-ones. So let's, uh, yeah, hopefully some Saturday Night Magic here in these uh, six boxes. Yeah, let's hit some one of ones All right, there's the lineup. Good luck, everybody. All right, box number one. Really cool. We got Mariano Rivera on the box. All right, so too many boxes inside of the boxes. All right, good luck, Eddie. Good luck to all. Let's hit something big here. All right, guys. Mini box number one. Oh, you got the Mets, right? Okay. It's got to be Alonzo time, right? Or even like a nice Mike Piazza or something like that. Always a good checklist in triple threads. All right, so we got three base cards. All right, we got Reese Hoskins, Garrett Cole, Manny Machado. All right, what's up, chat? Good luck, Will, Steve, Jeremy. All right, good luck. Some beginner's luck for you, Jeremy. Cards on my mind. What's up, uh, Magic? Do you mean like Magic the Gathering? Uh, Ripken to 99. You get two numbered cards in every mini box. And Don Mattingly to 259. What's up, Dollars? Oh, Kool-Aid Man. Let him bring the big hits. That's Kool-Aid Man. He's with us. <laughs> All right, our first hit. Nomar Mazzara, Texas Rangers, Homer Barrage. 
Eight out of eighteen. Yeah, this guy's got some pop, man. And with Gallo on the team, he was out slugging Gallo this year. Well, in the beginning of the year. Oh, he hit like the first five hundred foot bomb or something like that. All right, Texas Rangers. Uh, Br done. Congrats. Nice. Uh, eight out of eighteen. Emerald parallel. And the autograph, Milwaukee Brewers, Travis Shaw. All right, number to 75, or, uh, Jumbo Relic Auto. All right, that's the Amethyst Purple. All right, Milwaukee, Zach, congrats, Zach. All right, mini box two. Yeah, I was just thinking that, Will. And they came so quick in this break, too, right? Uh, but you got your reds here. Hopefully something good with the reds. Yeah, if you're talking about Magic the Gathering, uh, I used to collect a lot of Magic. I haven't in a while, though. I even used to go to tournaments and play and stuff. You know, tournaments are like houses, not anything professional. All right, we got Miguel Cabrera, Tony Gwynn, Johnny Bench, and then our numbered cards. All right, Machado to 199, and Donnie Baseball again to 259. So another uh, Emerald Donnie. Oh, check this out. All right, we got a Stan Mutual Cut Above Cut Signature Relic Card. St. Louis Cardinals. Oh, one of one. Nasty. Look at that. St. Louis 101 Cut Autograph with some old relic on there. Old jersey material. Oh, that's sick. Stand the man. The gold one of one. I think that's, yeah, that's gold. Wow, St. Louis. BR done with the Cardinals. Stan, he's got a lot of cut autos and products. Uh, but a one of one with the uh, eight pieces of old memorabilia on there. Look at that. Very cool. And the cut's pretty cool by Stan Musial. All right, let's mag that up. Yeah, congrats. That's nasty. All right, Stan the man. All right, hopefully some more 101s. We hit one pretty quick there. And then we got Altuve. All right, number to 36. 36 out of 36. All right, jersey card. Uh, Zach, S.C. Zeke. The giant killer, Jose Altuve. All right, good first box there. Here's box two. Ah, uh, Brian, what's up, man? 517. Nice hit there. And we've only just begun. Yeah, Ed, I don't know if you're still with me about the uh, the magic question you were asking. Yeah, magic, I always thought, Magic the Gathering, it's kind of like uh, Pokemon for 
of Pokemon for adults or just like an older uh, the artwork on the magic cards are amazing great artists and the game is a lot of fun very strategic all right we got Babe Ruth Mookie Betts Francisco Lindor All right, Mark McGuire to 259, Oakland Athletics. Derek Jeter, 299. And then we got, all right, Ichiro for Seattle. Ah, oh, nice legend relics. Uh, 23 out of 27, very nice. Seattle, uh, BR done. Nice each year. You got the black, uh, gray, and the white relics. And rookie for the Mariners, uh, Yusei Kikuchi. All right, number to 99. Yusei, rookie autograph. Hopefully next year uh, has a killer season. All right, BR done. <clears throat> Oh, uh, what are you saying? Stan Musial was a Yankee killer? Already cut that. All right, next mini box. All right, we got John Smoltz, Chris Davis, Frank Thomas. Uh, Steven Strasburg, number to 50. That's the Black Onyx parallel. And Alex Bregman to 199. Bregman with a grand slam tonight in uh, game four. Putting the cherry on top for the Astros. Unless the Nats made a crazy comeback. But they were killing them when I last checked in. Alright, Philadelphia Phillies. Dylan Cousins. Uh, number to 75. Triple Relic Auto. This is the Rookies and Future Phenoms uh, autograph. On card auto. Nice looking card. Uh, Sports Nut 70. There you go, Ed. That'll start you off. Oh, Altuve, yep. Yeah, he was the Yankee killer. <laughs> Araldus, the big giant. All right, Rick Porcello, Boston Red Sox to 36. All right, white jersey relic. Uh, Dallas, there you go. Porcello. Red Sox have been doing pretty good in triple threads. Hit a couple of nasty Xander Bogarts cards last break. Last night we hit the one of one. It was a JD Martinez uh, triple relic one of one. Had a majestic logo, had a Adidas logo, and then it had a cool. Uh, I don't know, something, it said like BOS from Boston, had like a little window on it, I have no clue what it came from. Yeah, Altuve could hit the off-speed stuff and the, uh, the heat, so always... Altuve so tough. All 
All right, guys, we got Albert Pujols, Derek Jeter, Hunter Dozier, All right, Mike Piazza to two ninety nine, Verlander to one ninety nine, and we got Anthony Rendon for the Nationals. All right, nineteen out of twenty seven, base to base. Oh, back to back to back doubles. Some kind of back to back to back doubles. All right, bats and uh, jerseys there. Anthony's home run on June 9th made Washington the first team ever to get back to back to back to back bombs in the same game twice. Wow. Oh, back to back to back twice. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, they're clever at triple threads. Uh, Yamaha PD, congrats. And Boston Red Sox. We got Chris Sale. All right, number to 99, Jumbo Relic Auto. All right, Dollars. Dollars 151, congrats. Yeah, I had this one uh, hobby store in Huntington. I used to get a lot of the older packs of Magic. Yeah, it was in Huntington, and uh, the only place I found that had, like, a bunch of the older sets. Not the $5 a pack stuff. Like, a lot of them were, like, 20 bucks a pack or more. Yeah, it's got a good history, the Magic. All right, base cards, Jim Palmer, Sandy Koufax, Acuna. And then Emerald Parallel, Josh Bell to 259. Conforto to 299, Amethyst for the Mets. Next up, all right, Coney, David Cohn for the Yankees. Ah, oh, nasty. Three out of nine. That's the gold parallel. Righty whiffs with the jerseys and all the letters there and the autograph. All right, Yanks. Haven't hit a cone auto in a while. All right, Card Mart. Congrats, Eddie. Yep, in Main Street, correct. I know last year and the year before I hit a couple of those uh, Astros triple uh, triple patch autos. Hit a few different combinations like Springer Bregman Correa, then like Altuve Springer Bregman. Wow, nice David Cohn. Uh, might have been a toy store also. I mean, a lot of those places have a, you know, a lot of the collectible toys there. It was a while ago, though. I want to say like uh, seven years ago I used to go there or something. Maybe even longer. And then we got Miguel and Duhar. All right, number to 18. All right, jumbo jersey, couple of pinstripes. All right, card mutt. One out of 18 on that. What's up, Johnny? Uh, we just hit the David Cohn, if that's what you were asking about the Cone. Number to nine on the David Cone. We hit the uh, 101 Stan Musial Cut uh, Auto Relics. Uh, 
That was the big one so far. But I know uh, Saturday night's going to bring us uh, something big coming up. Yeah, and Duhar's had the injury bug, man, but so talented. Seems like a lot of the Yankees uh, with the injuries. That was like the Mets a few years ago. Where we had the, you know, amazing pitching staff and they were all down. <clears throat> we couldn't get them all uh, at the same time. And Mats would get injured, and then Harvey would get injured, and then you'd have Syndergaard and DeGrom, then Syndergaard would get injured, he'd come back, then DeGrom would get injured. But it's nice that uh, DeGrom and Syndergaard have been healthy uh, the last couple years, though. So. All right, guys, Raphael Devers, Mike Piazza, Trevor Story. All right, Mike Piazza to 99. And we got Springer to 259. The hits. All right, we got the Hawk, Andre Dawson. All right, nice legend, 14 out of 36. All right, with the bat relics in there. Ah, uh, looks like the line connecting the N and the D uh, is missing. All good gives a character, though. And you can see it's like one big, uh, like, bat piece, and they just put the letters framing over it. Yeah, that got jacked up in the die, I bet you, in the die cut. The G is kind of uh, a little messed up, too. All right, Cubbies, uh, JJ, congrats. Yeah, it's a little jacked up. I'm sure uh, Tops would uh, replace that if you wanted it, because not only is that missing, but the G is a little messed up up top. But yeah, definitely one of a kind. And we got Mike Clevenger, Cleveland Indians Auto Relic to 99. All right, the Tribe, Zach S.C. Zeke. Clevenger, good pitcher for the Tribe. Tribe always has good pitching. Yeah, I think it looks cool the way it is. Yeah, something about it going on. It's got its own uh, artistic value. All right, guys, next mini box. All right, we got JD Martinez. Roger Clemens, Jim Tomei. All right, Jim Palmer to 199. David Ortiz to 259. And the hits. Ooh, nice. We got an autograph, relic combo. New York Yankees. Look at that. CC, Gary Sanchez, and Severino. Nasty looking card, man. 11 out of 18. It's got the emerald green. Beautiful. Triple. All right, CC. What a career he's had. Gary Sanchez, a dangerous hitter when he's on point. I know he struggled a little in the playoffs. And Severino, Yankee ace right there. He's turned into a great pitcher. All right, Yankees. Wow. 
Oh, Kardma, there you go, Ed. All right, so triple. We hit one earlier tonight. It had Miguel Cabrera, Josh Harrison, and uh, Kristen Stewart for the Tigers. All right, and then a relic, Chicago Cubs, Kyle Schwarber. All right, number to 36, blue jersey card. All right, JJ, congrats. All right, guys, we still got two boxes left. Yeah, nice. No, it's nice. Uh, it's your time now. That triple was really nice. And then a couple other Yankee hits. The David Cohn, nice. And we're still not done yet. All right, Clayton Kershaw, Miguel Cabrera, Tony Gwynn. All right, Nolan Ryan to 259, and Ricky Henderson to 299. All right, we got Buster Posey, San Francisco Giants. Very nice, 33 out of 36. No, no receiver. All right, so I guess he caught a no hitter. All right, some bats and jerseys. Pretty cool looking. The bats are almost the same color as the jerseys. Nice shiny gold. All right. Buster is one of 17 players who have been behind the plate for three or more no-hitters. Wow. Wilson Ramos did it. I guess with uh, Scherzer and Strasburg. I actually witnessed one of those at City Field. Max Scherzer uh, no-hit my Mets a couple years ago. All right, Giants, BR done, congrats. And for the Washington Nationals, we got Patrick Corbin. All right, to 99, big pickup for the Nats this year. Patrick Corbin, yeah, Nats with some great pitching. All right, Yamaha PD, congrats. Next up, uh, George Brett, Babe Ruth, Mookie Betts, uh, George Springer to 50, nice black onyx, and then we got Javi Baez to 199. All right, more San Francisco Giants. Uh, Chris Shaw. All right, 49 out of 50. Nice on-card auto with the bat and jerseys. 
He was a good player in the minor leagues. Could be a real good player. This is the rookies and future phenom style. All right, BR done. Congrats. The Bambino. I'm sure. Does he have a cut autograph in this set? There's a bunch of sets. Not a bunch. There's a few sets every year that there's the Babe Ruth cut auto. And it's usually just like a 101. Oh, Brett Gardner for the Yanks. All right. Number to 27, Amethyst. Parallel uh, gray jersey. All right, there you go, Card Mutt. Some more Yanks. All right, guys, last box. Let's hit a 101 to finish off Saturday night. Tomorrow night, I have uh, three prison football breaks, and then I got the one triple threads break tomorrow night. I think triple threads is, uh, I think, the second break of the night. Second or third, I believe the second. Might be the third. I know Diamond Kings every year, they got the uh, Babe Ruth cut auto to chase. Yeah, Diamond Kings for the price point is a really nice product. A lot of big uh, old school hits. We've hit a uh, Ted William hits. Uh, what did we hit? Lou Gehrig. We hit a relic like number to three. I think like the first month I was breaking in 2017. Ken Griffey Jr. We hit a Mattingly 101. A lot of good stuff. All right, Ted Williams, Soto, Ken Griffey Jr., there he is. Yeah, one of my first nasty hits, it was uh, number to seven, uh, like an auto relic of uh, Ken Griffey Jr., all right, to 299, we got Garrett Cole. And Todd Helton to 199. All right, then we got. All right, Hunter Dozier, Kansas City Royals uh, breakout, 17 out of 18. All right, Triple Threads relic. Kansas City Royals uh, Yamaha PD with the Royals. All right, New York Mets, we got Ahmed Rosario. Had a great year this year. I picked up a bunch of uh, Rosario cards. I think he's going to just break out into like a superstar. All right, very nice. 12 out of 50. That's the Emerald. All right, Eddie with the Mets. Congrats. Ahmed Rosario. All right, guys, last mini box. Good luck. Yeah, Triple Threads also a really deep checklist. National Treasures has like an insanely long checklist. All right, guys, let's hit some magic here. Saturday night, last pack. Come on. All right, guys, Mookie Betts, Lindor, Albert Pujols. We got Todd Helton to 259. Jackie Robinson to 299. 
That's a great picture, man. Look at that. Looks 3D like Jackie's with us. All right, last two hits. All right, we got Scott Kingery, Philadelphia Phillies. All right, number to 75, the on-card auto with the three relics. Great style this year with the star there. The rookies have the RC, and the young stars have the star there. All right, Phillies, uh, Eddie, Sports Nut 70, congrats. All right, guys, last tick coming up. And we got Cincinnati Reds. There they are. Wow, we waited for the last card for you, uh, Gaffy. All right, Yasiel Puig, 35 out of 36. All right, red jersey card for the Reds. All right, Cincy. There you go, Will. A little something at the end there for you. But just getting any hit in triple threads is always nice. All right, guys. Uh, let's do a recap. Oh, man. That uh, deck of booklet that we hit uh, earlier with the Aaron Judge and the Trout on there. I'll put that on Instagram. Uh tomorrow at some point there's a link on my youtube channel that you know the where you're watching me right now that'll take you right to my instagram or just if you type in nick snacks case breaks you'll find me on instagram i put up a lot of pictures there a lot of the big hits that pop up here and it's like almost three years worth of uh hits up there so really nice gallery Uh, well, Eddie had 60% of the card, so it went to him. Yeah, it had, uh, yeah, he had a bunch of teams, so if you have over 50% of the card, you win it. If he had five teams, it would have been a random, but he had six out of the ten. He had the Yankees, the Angels, uh, what else, the Red Sox on there? Maybe not the Red Sox, Indians. Uh, two breaks ago, that was the first break of the night. I mean, he had a lot of teams, and uh, I don't know, did we hit? Yeah, I think we hit the booklet towards the end. It might have been like the second to last box. And I don't think he was hitting much up until that point, so... I mean, if you have, like, ten teams in triple threads, that's, you know, almost a thousand bucks. If you got, like, the Yankees, Angels, Mets, all those teams, so... Really nice to pull that for him. Well, the booklets are tough, yeah, booklets are tough to hit. The odds of a booklet. No, it's like one in every like thousand packs or something. Something like that. Yeah, I was looking for it. The back of the box shows the odds of everything. What's up, Phoenix? You're sleep talking. You okay? Ooh, Phoenix was having some kind of dream or nightmare. <laughs> All right, deck of threads, book cards, auto relic, gold. I think I'm dreaming. Well, you're not dreaming now. So yeah, one in every like thousand packs. 
which is two packs in a box, 18, so 36 packs in a case. So, yeah, if you do the math, it's a lot of cases. One in every, like, 36, 10, 36, like one in every 30 cases, which of triple threads is a lot of money worth. All right, guys, we're going to recap the numbered cards first. Yep, that was number to 10, the DECA card. Yep. <clears throat> Thanks, Eddie. Appreciate it, Ed. I'm glad I could hit that for you. Yeah, we've been pretty invested in the triple threads uh, last couple nights, so that's an awesome hit, man. And that Tatis was pretty sweet last night, too. And I'm sure you racked up a bunch of uh, cool stuff. Nice collection of triple thread stuff coming. All right, guys, uh, to two ninety nine Amethyst. We got Derek Jeter for the Yankees, Piazza for the Mets, Conforto for the Mets, Ricky Henderson for the Athletics, Jackie Robinson for the Dodgers, and Gary Cole for the Astros. All right, uh, Emerald to two fifty nine. All right, Donnie Baseball for the Yankees. Donnie Baseball for the Yankees. Uh, Big Mac for the Athletics. Josh Bell for the Pirates. George Springer for the Astros. Big Poppy for the Red Sox. Nolan Ryan for the Rangers. Todd Helton for the Rockies. All right, so 199. All right, we got Machado for the Padres, Verlander for the Astros, Bregman for the Astros, Jim Palmer for the Orioles, Todd Helton for the Rockies, and Javi Baez for the Cubs. To 99. All right, we got Cal Ripken Jr. for the Orioles, and Mike Piazza for the Mets. And Black Onyx to 50. Steven Strasburg for the Nationals. And George Springer for the Astros. All right, now the Relics. All right, and tomorrow night's going to be the last six boxes. <clears throat> I have a feeling it's going to be a good one. We'll wait and see, but uh, good feeling. I'm thinking, uh, I don't know, i got to check the website. I don't know if they guarantee a 101 in every case. I know last year they said that, like a 101 in every case. So I'm thinking we hit one already in this case. And there's two inner cases. So I think there's going to be another one of one. Not 100% sure, but should be. And uh, we haven't hit any like big rookie hits yet. So hopefully something big. All right, to 36. Uh, SJR. All right, these are the Jumbo Relics. SJR on the back, so something Jumbo Relics. Swatch Jumbo Relics or something. All right, poor, these are the 36. Porcello for the Red Sox. Altuve for the Astros, Schwarber for the Cubs, Yasiel Puig for the Reds. 
All right, then to 36. We got a legend with the bat relics, Andre Dawson. It's supposed to connect. The N and D should have a line in between there. Kind of looks cool like that. Yeah, I guess when it came out of the die press, uh, something got pulled off. Uh, Chicago Cubbies. And no, no receiver. Buster Posey. San Francisco Giants. Bats and uh, relics over there. All right, to 27, we got the Amethyst, the Purple. All right, Brett Gardner for the Yankees. And another legend here, Ichiro for Seattle. Three different colors, triple threads. And Anthony Rendon for the Nationals. Back to back to back to back. B to B to B to B. All right, then we got the emerald green. All right, number to 18, we got Miguel and Duhar for the Yankees. All right, we got Homer Barrage, Nomar Mazzara, Texas Rangers. And breakout, Hunter Dozier, Kansas City Royals. All right, guys, now the autographs. All right, we'll start off uh, to 99. We got a rookie auto, Yusei Kikuchi, Seattle Mariners. That is uh, 87 out of 99. All right, also the 99 Jumbo Relic Autographs. We got Chris Sell for the Boston Red Sox. Mike Clevenger for the Indians. And Patrick Corbin for the Nationals. All right, to 75 purple uh, amethyst. Travis Shaw for the Brewers, Jumbo Relic Auto. We got a Scott Kingery, uh, Rookies and Future Phenoms uh, Auto Relics, Philadelphia Phillies. And we got another one like that, Dylan Cousins for the Phillies. Oh, Phillies hit two of these, nice. All right, then we got Emerald to 50, Chris Shaw. See, that's got the RC, so that's the rookie version. All right, San Francisco Giants, very nice. And an Ahmed Rosario, 12 out of 50 for the New York Mets. All right, guys, now the big hits, uh, the big three here. All right, we got a gold three out of nine. David Cohn for the New York Yankees. Righty whiffs. Striking out those righties. All right, Yanks. All right, for the Yankees as well, we got a triple relic auto. Uh, missed the 3,000, hit the 3,000 uh, strikeouts this year. CC Sabathia. Gary Sanchez, he was kind of putting the Yankees on his back when uh, all the other guys were injured. And ace Luis Severino. Alright, that's, uh, yep, 11 out of 18. Alright guys, in our one of one. 3,630 hits with the cut auto. Stan the man, usual. One of one. Some nice old uh, jersey memorabilia there. And a cool uh, Stan Musial cut. All right, 
very awesome. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, tomorrow night, three prison football breaks. And then we got, uh, yeah, three prison football breaks and the last triple threads break uh, tomorrow night. All right. Uh, I'm going to open up a few packs of NBA hoops just for kicks if anybody wants to watch that. Some nice nostalgia. I did that last night a little bit. I was so excited uh, picking this stuff up. Couldn't wait for it to come in the mail. This is a lot of fun with I'll get them. I'll pick out all my favorite players. You know, all the big play Jordans and the Magic Johnsons and the Patrick Ewings and Malones. And then I'll try to put a couple of sets together, try to get the whole checklist. Out of a box, you could probably put like a whole set together. Maybe I'll miss like a couple of cards that I'll look for, but be a lot of fun. Chucky Brown. European Imports. Vladi and Sharunas Marshallonis. All right, Tom Hammonds. Yeah, all these cards. Uh, just remember pulling them so many years ago. Wes Unseld, the Bullets. That's crazy how they're not the Washington Bullets anymore. I guess it wasn't uh, after Columbine and stuff. I guess it wasn't like politically correct. Look at that, Dominique Wilkins. That is sick. Yeah, how much are the, uh, the Mark Jacksons worth? I already hit one of those. Pretty nice condition, too. Yeah, the Mark Jackson uh, Menendez brothers. Yeah, here it is. That Dominique. So Dominique was one of my favorite players. First basketball uh, I bought was the Dominique Wilkins uh, autograph on it. Yeah, there's uh, the Jackson with the Menendez brothers. Uh, one to twenty dollars, or one of them's twenty bucks, dude. Like the whole box costs like twenty bucks, I think twenty twenty five bucks. So you hit like a couple of those, you're already. Ah, uh, Hofstra show. Yeah, Hofstra does some card shows. That's right. Yeah, they've been doing that for a little while. Wow, that Dominique. What a picture, too. Uh, Doc Edwards, James Edwards. There's Malone. The checklist had the nice uh, artwork. Nick Anderson. The Magic were horrible uh, until Shaq and Penny joined. Then they were a great team. Nick Anderson stuck around for that era. Derek Carper, he was solid, man. The Knicks had him for a little bit. Greg Anderson. And I love the cards like Buck Johnson, but you got uh, Magic Johnson in the background. That always made it cooler. Don Levy looking stoned. Uh, this is 1990-91. Yeah, that's what the box says. 90-91. Uh, I bought a box of Series 1 and Series 2. And I also bought the Sky Box. Um, series 1 and Series 2. That's The Sky Box was really like fancy back then. That was like the flawless of back in the day. <laughs> they had the advanced stats. Uh, well, the picture photography was really cool. The artwork they put into it. And then on the back, you had another picture like Jordan Golfin. And then the stats, like it showed if the player played all 48 minutes... Uh, what their stats would be. Jordan would score 41 points a game if he played all 48 minutes. 41.3. He'd almost average a triple-double. Uh, and then it showed, like, compared to the, you know, the rest of the guards where they stood. So, cool. So, yeah, the advanced saber metrics for the 1990 season. 
And then on my kick, I had to get this Sean Kemp uh, collector's choice. I didn't even know they had autographs back then. I wonder when this was made. It's got the sticker on it to prove that it's uh, legit, that it wasn't just written on there. Yeah, love the Sonics uh, uniforms, and uh, Sean Kemp is awesome. But yeah, 1990-91, you gotta look around and you'll find somebody selling cheap boxes. I mean, this was considered from the junk era, they made so much of it, so... You'll find them pretty cheap. Derek Sheevis. Herb. Adelman still around. Jerome Kersey, love the old Blazers uh, vibe too. Phil Jackson, the other side uh, shows him in a New York Knicks uh, player. Wow, from 67 to 80. The Zen Master. Johnny Dawkins, I remember, I thought it was so cool. They had Hersey Hawkins and Johnny Dawkins. They used to like confuse me a little bit back in the day. Hawkins, Dawkins, Dan Marley, three-point specialist, the old Nuggets logo is cool, oh, the Jordan in the 10, you're saying, yeah, they go for like 50 or 60 bucks, like graded 10, this one was in mint condition, man, look at the centering, And this is at least a 9.5. It could be a 10. I don't know. Maybe I'll send it out to get graded. Ah, Joe Dumars. Pistons checklist. Oh, man. I get a kick out of seeing the Supersonics. Reggie Lewis. Jeff Malone, yeah, Carl Malone, Jeff Malone on the same team. Alright, what else we get? Let's get some of those uh, iconic cards from this set. Ah, Bo Kimball, little draft action. Kimball was a big college player. Averaged 35 points in college. KJ, that was a big card back then. Yeah, great stats, man. Averaged well over 10 assists a game and still scored 20 something points. Six foot one, KJ. Chris Mullen. Pooh Richardson, that was always cool. Sonics, ah, oh, see another Mark Jackson card. That one's in nice condition, too. I wonder what these in a 10 go for. Mmm, the surface. See, right next to the Knicks logo, the surface has a little tiny thing. That might prevent it from getting like a 10. The corners look pretty sharp. All right, there's the psychopaths in the front row. Menendez brothers. That's kind of like creepy, man. So creepy. Yeah, it was different, but I, I really enjoy basketball nowadays, though. I think uh, all those big trades and the big draft guys, I think the teams are exciting also. I love watching the Greek Freak play. Greek Freak's awesome. Centering's really nice. That's a great condition right there. Which, back in the day, they weren't always in great condition. Like, look at that. The centering's off on that card. You can see the left side and the right side, the silver. So the Jackson, that's perfect. That's like the first thing uh look for with the condition. All 
All right, so I'm Mark Jackson. That's really cool. Ah, uh, what's up, Michael? Oh, awesome. Hopefully, I, I opened up uh, one box of Skybox. I'm pretty sure I was going through the checklist. I had every player so far, so... But yeah, I'll let you know. I'll mention it. Uh... Oh, Kevin Willis. He was cool. Love that old Hawks logo, too. Yeah, I'll mention it if I need anything. Also, finding time is a breaker. I spent a lot of time uh, sorting and shipping and uh, customer service off messages, breaking all night. And then I got the kids, so it might take me a while before I'm able to put all the sets together. Sharunis Marshallonis. Chuck Person. Yeah, he was pretty nasty. Well, yeah, his stats were nice. What was his nickname, Chuck Person? Yeah, he had a cool nickname, I think. Like Shotgun or something like that. Lionel Simmons. Selected with the seventh overall pick of the draft. Isaiah, that was always an awesome card to pull. Dennis Hopson, Sigma, Moses. <laughs> yeah, 30 years. Yeah, where does the time go? I remember in uh, middle school, my technology class, where we had like the wood shop. Uh, we did a lot of trading and... Uh, in technology, we were able to make, like, we'd bring in t-shirts and you could, like, out of the computer, you could, like, uh, make a design and they'd, like, put it onto the shirts. I remember I made, like, a Kevin Johnson uh, Phoenix Sun shirt. It was, eight, you know, 80s quality, uh, 80s quality printing, but still pretty cool. Drazen Petrovic, what could have been with his career, man. Doing his thing in the finals, right? I think the, uh, right, I'm sure, yeah, Blazers uh, in the finals. I'm pretty sure Petrovic was playing. This guy was awesome, man. He would uh, score a lot of points. I think he would outplay Jordan sometimes, they were saying, right? Is that what it was, Dot Matrix? <laughs> All right, Gary Payton. This was the number two pick of the draft. That's an awesome card. Felton Spencer. What was he? Six pick. John Sally, the bad boys. Dave Corzine. Lojas, he was a good player too. Look at that old Bucks logo. Yeah, some of these logos look like it was, uh, you know, like a high school or middle school project. But they look cool though. Can't knock them. Sparrow. Yeah, was Danny Fay? Was that a short print? It was card number 300. It was like the last card in the set. And it was some kind of special, uh, I guess because he played in Italy, he didn't have any stats to show on the card. Yeah, after Duke, right, did he go to Italy for like a year or something? Reggie Theus. David Robinson and that card, that jacked up the price a little. Ah, Magic Johnson, look at that. Charles Oakley. I hit the Danny Ferry in the hoops and the uh, skybox. Oak was one of my favorite players, man. 
Love the team with the Anthony Mason, Oakley Ewing. That was that was my Knicks. John Starks. Bill Lambeer. The definition of the bad boys right there. Ah, uh, that's really cool, man. Wow. Is that Xavier McDaniel? Yeah, the X-Man. Look at that team. Xavier McDaniel, he was on an episode of Married with Children. He played like a psychopathic... Uh... Yeah, I think Al Bundy had to make one of those shots. You know, the half-court shot for like a million dollars or something. Something like that. And I think Xavier McDaniel like threw him across the court. Sadell 3... Danny Ainge is a blazer. Yeah, definitely got some sky. I got the Skybox Series 2, which is the same thing. They just uh, added some new ones on the checklist, I guess. Yeah, hold on. Let me grab a pack of that. A pack or two. Oh, where'd I put it? Yeah, it's awesome, and this stuff is cheap, but so much enjoyment if you were, you know, if you're about 40 years old or in your 30s or 40s. Just remembering all, all that nostalgia. Priceless. Skybox Series 2. Ah, there it is. Alright, yeah, the green box. Series 2. Yeah, look at that. Jordan on the cover, too. I pulled the Jordan card out of Series 1, so Series 2, I guess, had the same Series 1 cards and then some, like, add-ons. I'm assuming... Right, what was, uh, because now Series 2, it's like a whole different checklist, you know, I think it was a little different back then. Skybox. Alright, looked like it was wrapped up, uh, separately. Let's see. Trying to save the boxes too for display. Yeah, look at that. This was a little fancier than the hoops. I'm sure it was like a dollar more a pack back in the day. Or like 50 cents more a pack. I forgot what they cost. Yeah, not like the rappers these days. So, yeah, this is cool. And it's cool. Every uh, player has a different background, which is awesome. Oh, look at that. Utah Jazz. Oh, that's awesome. What a great eye these uh, set makers had. Michael Adams, and then the back always had a cool picture from like the, uh, from the NBA files or whatever they had, that's cool, Orlando <laughs> looks like he's taken off, yeah these look nice, and think 30 years ago they did this, Spud Webb, Akeem, Alright, so this is card 110. 
Akeem Olajuwon. Right, isn't that the same series one card? Sam Perkins. Okay, so Sam Perkins, 391. All right, so that's like a series two card. So I guess they mixed in cards together. Casey Jones. Yeah, this is really cool. I'm feeling series two. And that's awesome. You could still hit like the series one stuff. They probably added like a hundred cards to the set. And you'd have to buy more boxes to get the you know the series two cards because you're gonna get the series one guys in there. Oh no, there's card four oh five. Ah, Ron Rothstein, Miami Heat. Yeah, and some of the backgrounds are different. You didn't see that style in Series 1. Ronnie Cycli. Yeah, he was in Series 1. Hersey Hawkins. Phil Jackson, that's got to be a Series 2. Yeah, card 304. Some encouraging words. The Spurs logo. Yeah, that was an add-on. They didn't have the team stuff in the first one. Charles Smith. Ah, Sean Kemp. Love Sean Kemp, man. Card 268. I think I only had like two Sean Kemp's in my first box. Danny Manning, he could have been a great player. Some injury problems. He was great in college as a Jayhawk. Yeah, that's one of my earliest memories of uh, college basketball. Danny Manning and the Jayhawks in the uh, tournament. But I also remember Charles Barkley playing uh, in college. Like, when I was really, really young. I'm trying to think how far, but, like, really far back, man. I think it was Barkley playing in college. I remember seeing it on, like, a black and white television. I just have these flashbacks of that. Because I was born in 78. When was Barkley drafted? Was he, like, 83? So I was really young. I could uh, feel like I remember Barkley playing in college. That's like my earliest, earliest college basketball memory. Could have been like a sports center thing going on, but. James Worthy, that looks great. These cards are awesome. Yeah, you could tell the background, all the series. Oh, actually, no, that was series one. Maybe they changed it up a little. Cotton Fitzsimmons. Come on, let's hit another Jordan. Yeah, anything Michael Jordan that's in, like, supreme condition. It's in, like, uh... I know they have the 10s, and then they have, like, the uh, the black label 10s that are, if a card's, like, immaculate. Ah, that is sick. Look at that, man. NBA Draft. See, that was added on in Series 2, the draft guys. It's almost like they didn't complete what they didn't... Uh, they didn't complete what they really wanted in Series 1. In Series 2, they kind of perfected it. Lakers. Magic Johnson. That's so awesome. Probably a cool picture in the back. Yeah, that's the magic we remember. All right, so pulling some heat.
Yeah, so these were my favorite so far, man. Hornets. Lakers logo looking pretty cool. And my magic. Oh, and the Sean Kemp, of course. Yeah, it's where when I open up the packs, I'll pull out, like, my favorite stuff. Or all the big names. Yeah, Barkley was one of the most exciting pulls back in the day. You got a Barkley hoop first skybox. Even a couple years later when they started putting, like, those rare, like, uh, box hit inserts in there. Like, the beam team cards and warp speed for the uh, point guards. Always nice. You know, you always hope you got a good player on those inserts. Those are, like, the original hits. Just like those tough inserts. Get like a shack or something. Yeah, from what year? Yeah, I guess 93. Not, yeah, a couple years after this, they started making a lot of sets. The box, that is awesome. Big Mark Eaton. Lenny Wilkins, Scotty Pippen, awesome, ah, Seattle Super Sonics, Oof. what a logo, man, you got the uh, Space Needle over there, That is a cool card. All right, let's get Barkley. Good thing I'm not breaking these wrappers, man. They're not impossible to open, but a little uh, different than the rappers of today. T.R. Dunn. See him? I don't remember. That was a Series 2. Nick Anderson. He was good, man. Brad Doherty. That was Mark Price's. Uh, I'm sure, most of Mark Price's assists went to Doherty. See, that would have been a bad pack back in the day. No superstars. See, you would have got mad at that. That's awesome. Look at that logo. Whoo, balls. Dennis Scott. Miami Heat logo. Love the logo cards. Yeah, that I'm definitely going to collect all the logo cards. Mark Price was great, too. Cavaliers in that old logo. There's my boy, Patrick Ewing. A lot of uh, exciting years uh, as a Knicks fan watching Ewing. Yeah, New York fans love Ewing. Look at that, 28.6 uh, points a game, 10.9 rebounds, 2.2 uh, assists, one steal a game too. That's a good average for a center. Four blocks a game, he was a beast. 
That was cool. Back, that's what we're missing in the game today. Like those true centers. Just a seven foot like. You know, not a guy that's going out and shooting three pointers. All the centers are shooting three pointers now. Phil Jackson. Byron Scott, he played in Greece for a little bit on my favorite Greek basketball team. Panathinaikos. Yeah, finest, that was a big thing. Too rich for my blood, like the five bucks a pack. <laughs> yeah, I was always all right, give me the uh, five packs of collector's choice instead of the one tops fine. I did buy I did buy some finest. Not too much of that stuff. You know, I was in like ninth grade, I didn't have much money. Chris Mullen, that's a good one. I like that background too. So 80s. Oh, the back of Ewing. Oh, what was on the back of Ewing? Hold on. I remember it was nasty sometimes. They'd always show him on the... Because he had some, you know, big guy that runs around a lot. Always has, like, foot problems and stuff. You'd see, like, somebody massaging his big nasty foot on the, on the court. Patrick. Good guy, though. Great attitude. <clears throat> There's Tim Hardaway. Dominique. There's Wilkins. Card number 11. It's cool. A little mix of series 1 and 2. James Worthy. Alright, I'm going to open up these last five packs here. I'm going to save some for some random nights. And before I unload too many, uh, I want to put my Series 1 together. I put them in rows of like the... You know, the 0 to 100, the 100 to 200, the 200 to 300. So I started uh, getting them ready for sorting. Eddie Lee Wilkins. I mean, for putting the set together. See, Series 2, uh, I guess a lot of the add-ons. Series 1 seems like you get a lot more Jordans and stuff like that. Jordan in the top, you know, 20 players. Steve Kerr is a Cav. Another awesome Hornets logo. Let's see if we could get a Jordan or a Barkley or a Magic. The Jet Smith. Right, Cliff Robinson, great player. Cavaliers logo. Oh, is that the checklist? Okay, it does have the checklist on the back. So it shows the add-ons. Kendall Gill for the Hornets. Hodges, three-point specialist. Another awesome Bucks logo. Yeah, it really was a great set. I mean, now you can't compare them to, like, uh, Panini Flawless, National Treasures, Topps Dynasty, you know, Impeccable. 
but back then this was uh really nice they still live up to the you know as far as like base cards i'd love to see a set come out with that focuses on base cards and puts a nice design like that avery johnson is a nugget that's a cool card little avery Rod Strickland, he was a beast. Ah, Celtics logo, that's sick. Ooh, Finest Baseball. See, I don't remember buying any Finest Baseball when it first came out. But I remember, like, uh, the basketball cards in, like, the mid-90s. You know, early, early 90s, early to mid-90s, right after this. That's when I first started, like, you know, having chase cards to go for. Yeah, going for, like, the box hits. Ah, Gary Payton. Seattle Supersonics, number two draft pick. That's sick. Love reading material on the cards. L.A. Clippers. Ewing on the card. And I would say that in the Beckett too. Like Olden Polynese. Slash like Ewing in picture or something. There's Larry Bird. There's a big boy. Awesome. Sitting next to the Chief. Maybe we'll spot somebody in the crowd. We could get rich off of it. <laughs> we got to top the Menendez brothers. Right. Oh my God. Is that Donald Trump in the card? No. Yeah, but if you look at base cards long enough, like you'll find some people. Like the Menendez brothers thing, like. That was like a new thing. Just think for how many years nobody noticed that. Dennis Rodman, there's a cool one. Rebound machine. Only 9.7 rebounds back then. That uh, jumped up to like 15. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the Mantle Auto, right? Wasn't it like Mickey Mantle and somebody else? Yeah, there was Mickey Mantle. I forgot what set it was. I don't know if it's the score you're talking about. Mickey Mantle and uh, another player had an autograph. Was it Jeter, maybe? Maybe not Jeter. Or maybe somebody who was hot at the time. Charles Smith, Sean Kemp. So awesome. That's in great condition, too. Wow. That's like a 10, man. Look at that. But I don't know if a Sean Kemp graded goes for anything, but look how sharp that is. Surface is great, sides are great. Right, every corner is sharp. Centering. Uh, top to bottom is a little off. See, that's where it gets killed a little. Not too bad, though. Yeah, the bottom has a little uh, less gold than the top. Yeah, that's not like a pristine. So cool. Sam Bowie, I love those old Nets uniforms too. I wouldn't want to wear it, but it just looks cool with the, uh, just think of Dr. J. Michael Cage. 
with the awesome background, like a funfetti background. Purvis Ellison, Horace Grant. That's pretty cool, Ho Grant. That was a true power forward. Just put in there to rebound and clean up the glass. He could score too, though. All right, guys, this is going to be my last pack. Come on, let's get somebody big. Maybe I'll grab one more pack. One more after this. Ramil Robinson, this dude I do not remember. Oh, my God, it's so late. The uh, infomercial's on TV in the background. It's the the vibrator hour. Oh, uh, Drazen Petrovic, that's awesome. And that's uh, card 237. All right, so that was from Series 1. Lana Hawks, that's awesome. Samson, Doc Rivers. His son's a good player, just missing something, you know. He doesn't have that, uh, I don't know, so many years with the clip. But that's got to be tough, coaching your son. That's got to be really tough. Like, how do you treat him like a regular player and not give him, like, a little bit of favoritism? I think he gets a lot of crap for that, like, from the other players, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Gary Payton, okay, that's a nice one. Another Gary Payton. And that's the draft, like, that's his Bowman first right there. The NBA draft card. I guess, yeah, they considered the rookie cards, like in baseball, you'd see. It was after they played, like, a full year. You'd see if the stats, career, and the year, like, were the same. Now it's a little different. The draft stuff gets confusing. But yeah, this is like Bowman draft for back in the day. That's in great. Yeah, these are all in great condition. Some of the uh, products, like after a while, get like stuck together. If you get like a really old like Bowman Chrome set or Topps Chrome. Even like a regular top set, some of them like stick together. Ewing, Larry Bird, all right, another bird, some great condition on these cards, ah, uh, Jordan PSA 10, 45, yep, yeah, I saw them on eBay uh, a couple days ago when I was opening this. Dennis Rodman. I think I hit a Rodman in hoops. Yeah, we hit a Rodman. Did we just hit one in Skybox? Yeah, we just hit one in Skybox, I think. Oh, there it is. There's another one. Awesome. Another uh, 10 right there, I would think. And they're clean. Like, sometimes the old uh, baseball cards will have spots or a little something going on. Yeah, that's great. Rodman about to elbow someone in the face. Oh, that's Larry Bird on the card, right? Yeah, it looks like Larry Bird he's uh, tang tangled up with. That makes that cooler. Oh, we got more Lichty, Chris Ford, cool background. 
the chief Blazers, that's a cool logo. Yeah, Rodman's so popular. Even uh, back in the day, his inserts were worth a lot of money. One of the most. When he had all the different colored hair and stuff. Very popular. Sean Elliott. And Hobson. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to finish half the box. I still got the other half there. I want to keep opening. Oh, yeah, like the Fleer SP, right? Was it Fleer? They had a lot of weird SP, SP Authentics. Right there, I think there was an SPX. I really enjoyed the uh, flare, like the USA flare cards, and then they had the regular flare. Um, Tops embossed was really cool. I think Tops made it embossed, where they were embossed like a uh, texture, like a basketball. And then the uh, Fleer flare had like the nicknames on them, like Jordan would say Air on it. Um, those those were worth money. They had the Jordan. Uh, Jersey number 45 cards that were worth some money. Then they had like the hot numbers inserts. Yeah, or the embossed were orange, but then uh, every box had a gold card. So that was like the ones worth money. If you got like a Jordan with the gold on it, it was worth money. But yeah, the flare was uh, some. Was it flare? Oh no, emotions, I'm thinking. I'm sorry. Flair was cool too, and then they had the Team USA set, but then they had Emotions, that was cool, that had like the air and uh, all the nicknames on them. Yeah, that was a real fun set. Did I pass anything good? Another Denver Nuggets logo, look at that logo, didn't take much to, anybody can make that right now. But just the f retro value of that is awesome. Right, you got the Rocky Mountains in the back. I guess uh, the Denver buildings. <laughs> Alexander Volkov, he sucked. Awesome name though. Yeah, it looks like Tetris. But I remember watching like NBA on NBC like Saturday or Sunday. You know that early like 12 o'clock game or something. On the East Coast it was early. It was probably like morning time for the West Coast. And then the Be Like Mike commercial will pop up. That was so motivational. Remember, during the halftime break, I'd go outside and take some shots, run back in. When the game was over, I thought I was Michael Jordan. Watch the commercial a couple more times, be like Mike. Then lower my rim to like six foot so I could do some uh, between the leg dunks and throw the ball off the roof and catch it and dunk it in midair. Atlanta Hawks. Ah, uh, another Petrovic. I don't know why I just passed them. Doc Rivers. Derek Coleman, DC, was a beast. I think he was number one draft pick that year, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure number one pick. DC was cool. Like, he had a good uh, commercial scheme going on with the sneakers and everything. Pacers logo, Nate McMillan, that's a look at the neck going up on that. Alright, we got a Barkley, I'm glad we could pull a Barkley before I finished opening. 
Card number 211. There's Sir Charles. I know my microphone picks up uh, picks up everything. If you guys could hear the TV in the background, it's funny. Dick Versace, what we call him Versace. Looks like he's wearing a shower cap. Ah, oh, there's the Jordan. All right, another Jordan, man. I think that's my third Jordan, third or fourth that I've pulled out of here. Oh, yeah, that's in some nice condition. Yeah, that's sharp. That could be a 10. Let me see. Centering, centering. Yeah, that could be like a gem mint 10. Or well, I think gem mint is 9, whatever 10 is, pristine. Yeah, that is a clean Jordan. Yeah, some of the redemptions, people wait like two years. That's insane. Two years, three years. I can't believe they, they allow that. They would like make that happen. Yeah, that's a beautiful card. Look how shiny it is. Look at the surface. The corners, the centering. Yeah, that's really cool. And then he's playing golf in the back. The only thing I see uh, on the gold, if you could see the top there, there's like a little white dot. Would that affect like it being a 10? Would they give it a 9.5 for that one dot? I know surface, they give a little leeway. But that might, uh, yeah, that one, maybe that would kill the 10. I'm not going to grade it, but I'm going to mag it and hold on to it, though. Because, <laughs> yeah, I don't, so this would just go PC. Let me mag my Jordan. Even if it was worth five bucks, still a awesome Jordan. Oh, wow, like almost doesn't fit in the mag. Yeah, it's weird. I think the it would cut a little longer. That's weird. Let me see. Yeah, it doesn't fit in the mag. That's weird. And I'm not gonna push it in. Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Yeah, no, I've never graded a card, and I probably won't, like, yeah. I mean, I buy, you know, I have some graded cards that I bought and stuff, but, yeah, I mean, like, to grade it would be for, I love the way the cards look raw, even, like, in a magnetic holder or a top loader, and, yeah, and I don't sell, like, individual cards anymore, so, like, Value wise, it wouldn't be, you know, wouldn't be that for me. I bought uh, Ahmed Rosario uh, Bowman Chrome Orange Rookie Autograph. It was uh, 
graded a 10 orange to 25 the uh, Bowman Chrome rookie I got that for a really good price so if Rosario becomes like you know another Derek Jeter or something that'll be like a big card but it just looks so nice having a 10 Rosario unless you're a Mets fan you're not going to appreciate that card look at the Kings logo simple looks like Bart Simpson's head Kings. yeah probably my least favorite logo was the Sacramento Kings but now that I'm looking at it on the skybox it kind of looks cool Lester Vladi Divox. Vladi was a lot of fun. That's a cool shot of Ainge. Bernard King, Knicks legend, but uh, old on the bullets. Couldn't appreciate him uh, until I learned more about him. McNamara checklist okay that's the updated checklist so from 301 all right to 327 are the coaches then you get the team logo checklist oh they have all the different team checklists all right So they have the checklist to the checklist. That's pretty much what that is. All right, so I hit a Barkley. I hit a Jordan. Let's see my last pack I'm opening. Wow, whoever's watching the uh, Triple Threads uh, upload tomorrow, they're going to go to the end of the video and have to backtrack a little bit. It's all good. They'll figure it out. All right, guys. Last pack, I promise. McKee, and it was a great night, man. Hitting that DECA booklet uh, auto relic. And having uh, Mike Trout and Aaron Judge on it. That was exciting. I was shaking. Mookie Blaylock. Love Mookie Blaylock. Going to put Mookie to the side. Rick Smith, he was a good center. Ah, oh, his boy Reggie Miller. That's a good one. <laughs> Look at that, Reggie. Eddie Johnson, Jerry Sloan, look how much younger he looks, man, wow. Him and all his rules. Who didn't like his rules? Uh, a lot of players left the Jazz because he was too strict. Alright, that is going to end it. Yeah, that was fun, man. I still got half a box of this stuff left. I already opened up my whole series one box. Here, I'll open up one more pack of hoops. Hoops, I got uh, plenty more to open. No, not high in value. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think Devox is a money dude. He was fun to watch. He was big with the Kings. Great player. Good career with the Lakers. Uh, but I don't think Vladi has, like, a good value. Not that I know of. I could be wrong, but I wouldn't think so. We've pulled a couple of his autos. Like, I, I didn't hear anybody, uh, you know, go crazy for pulling it. Mark Price. See, now you can see the hoops cards are a little, you can see the quality a little different than Skybox was definitely a uh, higher end. Let's 
see like the Mark Price looks orange, Charles Smith looks red. I think that's just the printing, a little faded. Mark Price was good though. All right, David Robinson painting. That's so cool. Gerald Wilkins, what a shot there. Glenn Rice, rookie card. He had a great career. Jerry Sloan. Look at that, Utah on the back. J.R. Reed out of North Carolina. He was good. Or he was good in college anyway. Yeah, Duke was like the Kentucky for back in the day. Duke is still great, but... I mean, uh, North Carolina was like Kentucky back in the day. Duke has always been Duke. Blazers winning overtime. The NBA, NBA Finals. Yeah, Blazers. Would they have to face the Pistons, right? Yeah. Bad boys knew how to win, man. They had that fight. Casey Jones. Supersonics. Okay, got a couple of Sonics cards there. That's awesome, man. Yeah, the skybox uh, were yeah cleaner. Hoops was still good. And like now, tops when you're opening a pack, like cards are upside down all over the place. Uh, at least hoops and skybox uh, barely any upside down cards. You didn't have to keep flipping and everything. All right, so let's do the recap. Now, here's some of the nice uh, cards, good players we pulled. The Reg well, this is just a personal favorite, the Blaylock. And the logo, some of the logos look cool. All right, Sir Charles, Derek Coleman, number one draft pick. Petrovic, some more logos. Dennis Rodman, Larry Bird, Gary Payton, number two draft pick. Uh, Drazen Petrovic again, Sean Kemp, Dennis Rodman, another Larry Bird, another Payton. Celtics logo looking cool. The Hornets, that was a big logo back in the day. They sold a lot of Hornets uh, clothing, starter jackets and stuff. Ah, uh, the human highlight, human highlight film. Patrick Ewing, Chris Mullen from Run TMC, Mark Price. This is beautiful. They put a little extra effort with the smoke, I guess, for Jordan. Another Sean Kemp, more Hornets, Lakers, Magic Johnson. He was MVP that year as well. Best retro throwback of all time right there. Yeah, the Supersonics like the Expos of basketball. Everybody misses them, but at the time nobody appreciated them. Scotty Pippen, Milwaukee Bucks. Like Rocky and Bullwinkle. And then hoops. We got the Mark Jackson with the Menendez brothers. Ah, we pulled the Jordan also. Like a mint condition Jordan. What else? The hoops. Was I separating the hoops? Yeah, I don't think I was pulling out the good stuff in the hoops. Ah, we had a Kevin Johnson. 
Six feet tall, he could bowl. Oh, this is one of my favorites again, Dominique, and that's a great picture. I got to watch him, uh, Turner Broadcasting Systems, TBS, was uh, nationally televised, so we all got to watch Atlanta Hawks games. Uh, they had a big advantage for the fan base. In New York, I'm watching Atlanta, watching the Braves and the Hawks. Not the Thrashers, they didn't have a Atlanta hockey team back then. Oops, there it is. Ah, this was cool. The X-Men. You don't mess with the X-Men. One-on-one artist sketch of Xavier McDaniels. <laughs> and the Magic Johnson uh, checklist drawing is awesome. Look at that. That's like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I could see them putting that on like a... You know, a sneaker or something, or on a hoodie. Yeah, I love the Nike store, man. Nike store, uh, they have the this the bigger mall. It's uh, the Roosevelt Field Mall. It's, uh, I mean, I have the Broadway Mall, which is like five minutes away from me. And then if I drive like 20 minutes, Roosevelt Field is a nice mall. They got a... Uh, the flight store where it's got all like the Jordan stuff, not just like Nike, just like all the special Jordan. The first like Air Max design or first like Nike sneaker, I think um, Tinker Hatfield was the guy that created them. I mean in the 70s they had some other guy like invent the swoosh, but as far as like the style of like the Nike Airs, that was Tinker Hatfield. And this store will have like all like the limited edition like stuff from him come out. I got this one pair where you could put like four different colored swooshes. It's like a Velcro swoosh. Really cool. And then uh, let's see my newest Nikes. Yeah, the new Air Max I'm feeling. And I've been dying to get some like green sneakers. Uh, check that out. That's like the new Air Max. It's got the crazy bubble. I let, I mean, they're just so comfortable, man. So that's like the newest like 2019 Air Maxes, I guess. Oh, yeah, man, that whole, and it's cool, they incorporate a lot of the, uh, I don't know, Nike and basketball and everything goes together so good. They had, like, the, uh, it was, like, a Martin hoodie. It had, like, Martin always used to wear, like, those yellow and had the yellow on it, like, those kind of hoodies you'd see them wearing, yellow and black and, you know, the funky, you know, early 90s designs and stuff. Just like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, same thing. Martin and Fresh Prince, they always had those funky Nike stuff, so... They always bring back, like, the old stuff like that. I love that, man. Uh, yeah, so cool. Tinker Hatfield. Alright, guys, that is gonna do it. But, yeah, I wanna get some, uh... So I'm trying to build a collection of some, I don't know, retro logo hats and jerseys and stuff. That's always nice. Oh, I'm tired. All right, guys. Thank you. Later, everybody. Thanks for hanging out after the break. This was a... What was it? Triple Threads Break 6. If you're watching the recap, you got to go back like an hour or so. Akeem, coming to America. 
All right, guys, we're out. Thank you, everybody. Have a great one tomorrow night. I will be back. All right, later, Eddie, Michael, uh, Ryan, if you're still there. But thank you, guys. Dominique's dunking it out. All right, later, guys. Thank you.